Close your eyes. Open your mind. Your inner wisdom is here to guide you forward through this magical experience. Hello friends, welcome to your full body restoration. So today's practice is going to be a restorative ground practice as a gift to your own body. You won't necessarily need anything specific. You can do this class completely without any props. However, if you have a pillow or if you have a bolster or a blanket, anything like that, please bring it for this practice because it'll just help you enhance the relaxation part. You don't necessarily need it, but if you do, just grab two pillows and that'll be a great help for you. And once you have everything you need, let's get to it. Today's practice is a sample class from our full free program, 31 Days of Yoga. To access all of the 31 days for free, go to bohobeautiful.life slash 31 days. All right, friends, so to begin, we're gonna start in one of my favorite restorative and relaxing postures, which is your reclined butterfly pose or Supta Baddha Konasana in Sanskrit. For this, I will be using my bolster. However, if you don't have one, you can even just use a rolled up blanket like this, or if you have a pillow or two, just place it lengthwise along your mat. I'm gonna take my bolster because eh, it gives you a little more extra. So from here, once you have it, you're just gonna sit right against it and then allow yourself to come all the way back. And then you're gonna bring the soles of your feet together and allow your knees to open. Really feeling this opening sensation through the hips. Go ahead and just relax your arms along the side of your body, palms of your hands open. Close your eyes and begin to take long deep breaths into the body. Now, having the support under your back feels too much, feel free to release the support to the side and just come flat on the back on your mat. So really, it's about finding the right position that feels good on your body today. Breathing into any tension, any resistance that you may feel along your hips. Bringing in lots of oxygen, fresh blood flow. And then exhaling out as you allow yourself to just relax into this posture. Allow yourself to let go, to release. Inhale and exhale out. Inhale again and exhale out. Just feeling anything that may arise in the body here. Allowing your knees to let go and release. Good. And then from here, go ahead now and just extend your arms and reach all the way towards the back of your mat. Feeling this nice stretch through the body. If you're on a prop, this might feel more intense. If you're flat on the ground, this might feel not too bad. Wherever you are, just enjoy this lengthening sensation. Deep breath in. And then exhale, slowly bring your knees together. Bring your arms down by the side of your body. Pull the chin to the chest and slowly come up to seated. Once you come up to a seated position, go ahead and just remove whatever bolsters or props you have to make yourself a little more room and come into a seated easy pose. Feet crossed in front of you. Inhale, we're reaching up to the sky, lengthening through the body. And then exhale, taking your right hand down and looking up towards the sky as you bend that right elbow and just beginning to increase a little bit of space along the side body. Breathing into the intercostal muscles, 
the muscles in between your rib cage or your ribs. Inhale and exhale, just allow yourself to dive a little deeper. Inhale. And then exhale, start to curl forward. And then walking your hands towards the right corner of your mat. Now, if you want to use a pillow or bolster or anything, what you can do is just grab, put it next to your body and you can allow your forehead to rest on top. Otherwise, if you want to go a little bit deeper, just holding space here. The tricky part about this particular asana is that you want to make sure that both of your sit bones are continuing to stay grounded on the mat. If you start to feel like your left hip starts to lift, then readjust. Exhale, let it go. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. And opening back out. And then back to center and just switching to the other side. So left hand down, right arm reaches up. Once again, just be mindful of your sit bones. Make sure they are grounded on your mat. Close your eyes and begin to breathe into the right side body here. Maybe the elbow can drop all the way down. Maybe it stays hovered. Whatever feels good. Not worrying about whatever's happening on the external. Just checking in with your breath, with your body. How you're feeling. Truly how you're feeling. Take another deep breath in and then exhale. Just begin to reach to the left. Reaching your right fingertips, left fingertips to the left side of your mat. Making sure your sit bones are grounded. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. One more time. Deep breath in. Exhale open. And slowly come back to center. Awesome. From here, you're going to just simply bring your knees up and then extend your legs out wide. Doesn't have to be super wide, but just enough so you feel this opening in the hips. Then you're going to take your blanket, your pillow, your bolster, whatever you have to use today. Just place it in front of you. And then from here, you can either bring it right along your hips so it's right against you. And then just start to lean your body forward. Good. Keeping your toes pointed towards the sky. You can just bend your elbows. You can rest one cheek, wherever feels good for you. And just allow yourself to relax again. So restorative practice is about giving your body the opportunity to relax into an asana. It's different than yin yoga because we're not necessarily holding a position for a specific amount of time to allow the myofascia to release in a certain way. But we're still giving your body that opportunity to relax. The poses are usually less intense than the yin yoga. That's why you want to use props or anything to make sure you're comfortable. There's no sense of forcing or pressure or any kind of power that you have to use in these positions. You just need to relax into it. Deep breath in again. Exhale out. And again, deep breath in. And exhale out. Beautiful. Come back up. Hands down. And slowly begin to bring your chest up. Good. And then from this position, you're simply going to go ahead and bring your legs together. Your bolster can come to the side. Just scoot and shift yourself so you have your mat lengthwise. Feet just slightly apart because again, a bolster can come handy here if you want to use it. Or you can just use without or place it on top of your thighs like this. Inhale, you're gonna reach up and then exhale. You're just gonna release into a forward fold. Maybe you can reach for your ankles. Maybe you can reach underneath your knees. I like to place the bolster or pillow because again, 
it gives you the opportunity to just relax your body and not to feel and strain yourself holding position. So go ahead and do so and just relax into it, feeling a gentle release along your hamstrings here. This is also really nice to do against the wall. If you feel like you have to continue to focus on the flexion of your feet and as your ankles start to get tired, if you simply come against the wall and just place your feet against the wall, it'll do it for you and allow you to feel a deeper stretch. So just relax into it, deep breath in. Exhale out. Another deep breath in. And exhale out. A restorative practice is about stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system, the relaxation of our body. Throughout our day, we're constantly moving through this fight or flight response of the nervous system. And as much as it helps us do our job and get things done quickly, it's not healthy for the body. It's important to find moments to just relax and bring more peace and tranquility to the brain to the nervous system, to our cells of the body, to our muscles, our bones. Take another deep breath in. And then exhale slowly from here, let go. Remove the bolster or pillow, whatever you have, and start to slowly move yourself down to a lying down position on your mat, pulling your left knee into the chest and just beginning to gently rock your left knee left and right a few moments here good and then go ahead and take your left knee into your left elbow and open to the side as your right arm opens and so the trick here is to try and keep your right hip down maybe you want to keep even your right hand on your right hip to remind yourself so feeling this nice opening gentle release as your body relaxes into the floor deep breath in and then exhale out slowly return your knee to center take your right hand and begin to push your left knee across if you want to use your pillow or anything for support you can just place your left knee on top into this gentle variation of a spinal twist if you are looking to go a little deeper then feel free to allow your knee to fall all the way down and another variation that I can share with you guys, which will intensify this position. So only do it if you feel like you really want and crave a little deeper stretch. And that is to bend the bottom knee. So bend the bottom knee, grab your right toes, and then you can begin to pull your heel towards your glute. Now this can be quite intense. So only take it if you feel comfortable with this and you have a longer practice in yoga. However, if you're just looking to relax and not feel any increased deeper stretch, then just take the first variation of a spinal twist. I'm just here to give you guys a couple variations for you to design the practice that you need today. So deep breath in. Exhale out. And deep breath in again. And exhale out. Slowly, let's come back to center and just pull this left knee into your chest. And switch sides. Release right knee into the chest. Just a gentle rock left and right. Good. And then take your right knee over to your right elbow and then open opening here and what you can do also is use your left hand and place it on top of your left hip to make sure that your hips are continuing to stay grounded on the mat and just feel this nice opening another deep breath in and exhale come back to center use your left hand now let's take it across once again feel free to put a prop under your right knee if you want to just stay centered or if you are looking to go deeper then go ahead and do that then from here your right arm extends you're holding it here 
or if you want to go deeper and go a little bit more into the quad grab your foot with your right hand and just begin to relax into this position deep breath in exhale let it go and it's important when we start to challenge the body in different ways that we reward the body through rest restoration relaxation and rejuvenation so doing gentle practices like this or gifting yourself with some self-care such as a, a long bath or heat therapy or maybe just time in nature complementing this beautiful new habit that you're bringing into your life of self-care of dedication to your well-being awesome let's release slowly from here come back and just extend your leg and opening into a nice little relaxation here of shavasana taking a couple of deep breaths in and exhale out now if this feels good on your body feel free to stay here you guys close your eyes and just go as long as you need in the shavasana if you'd like to continue to go a little deeper into your practice today and this wasn't enough for you, then check the description of this video as it will contain two different types of practices for you to choose from. So please check that out. Otherwise, if you need to come out, just bend your knees, roll over to your side and come up to your seated position on your mat. Slowly bring your hands together in front of your heart, taking a long exhalation out as you gently bow in gratitude to yourself, to your well-being, and to your dedication. Thank you so much for joining me here today, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow in our next class. Namaste. When you do what you do, mm. how do you explain what happened? Like, yeah. what's going on? So the best way I would describe it is I move out of the way. Mm. I So thought mm -hmm. needs to go. And any preconceived ideas of what I might have around it, even when the sound is coming through of, you know, does it sound good? Is this right? Like, all of that. The ego. Yeah, has to go. Mm. Just mm. go. And then... Uh, I enter into a, a state. I would call it a, a source state. That's the best way I describe it because it's uh, it feels very pure, very loving, um, blissful, opening. It's spirit. Like that's the, the way I can the best way I can describe it is spirit and if if you break down the aspects of what spirit is it's love and joy and peace and harmony and all mm -hmm. the beautiful things that that is there so that becomes this pure state and then it's just opening up and that's another process too like and i do train i vocally train every day to make sure the instrument is good for when the sounds do come that i am able to mm -hmm. give those sounds it's really opening up and I actually hear, I hear the sound. Wow. And then I, yeah, translate it through. So it's a combination of hearing it, experiencing it at the same time, because what you feel, I feel. I feel mm -hmm. that same wow. feeling. And it's very emotional for me too, because it's so much love. Like I want to cry a lot of times from the feeling that's coming through. It's really healing for me.